I think the students are really fascinated by the use of Mathematica in their class. All right, so we're going to go ahead and learn a little bit about Mathematica today. I know most of you probably they just really appreciate how um, how powerful of a mathematics engine it is and um, how great it is that there's something that can bring such complex things down and, and solve them like that and, and then also provide all the great visuals. I am an associate professor of mathematics at Truman State University. I try to incorporate Mathematica into pretty much every class I teach. I've used it in uh, business calculus, I've used it in regular Calc 1 and Calc 2 and in linear algebra as well. I found that the business calculus students are sometimes a little bit intimidated by the amount of algebra that's required to solve for the critical points and to solve for the Lagrange multipliers uh, when they're doing all of that work by hand. Mathematica can allow them to get over the algebra and see the theory and actually look at the graphs and say, hey, okay, this is what's going on. So it's really nice to be able to explain the theory and have them visualize it in such an effective way with the different graphs. Being somewhat less less passive and more active in pursuing their own understanding, I think, is, is a change for them. Something that really pulls them in in such an interesting way with the nice visuals is really helpful for them. Try the plot X and then space capital S-I-N for the sine function. And then square brackets and a Y. And then let's do that, let's let the X values go from minus 2 to 2. And then of course, since this is a 3D plot, we have to tell it what to use for the Y values as well. Hit Shift Enter and you get a nice little picture. So the neat thing about this is you can now click on your graph and drag it around. Notice that if you sort of orient it so that it looks like you're looking at one side straight on, you see sort of that nice little slice of the sine curve. And then if you slice it the other way, you see that those cross sections are just lines. Right, so Mathematica is really nice for helping to visualize these things. It's really hard, you know, for example, to draw pictures of 3D surfaces that are you know, as, as easy to see and make the connections between the two-dimensional slices as Mathematica can. Hard to, to solve these you know, higher degree equations by hand, sometimes impossible. So it's really nice that Mathematica can do that and again make that jump from the theory to real world answers and help them work some examples to see how some of these things actually solve. I like using it, uh, doing it in Mathematica because then you can create, um, you know, the pictures yourself. And um, by manipulating uh, the equations, um, you know, I can turn the graph and actually see uh, the plotted image from all sides as opposed to in a book where I just have the 2D image and I have to um, be able to manipulate it in my, in my head. It makes things uh, easy for me to spend more time on proofs and theory that I need to, and then get great visuals for my homework. Just the ability to, um, to, to see a function plotted and talk about it helps you really uh, understand what the professor is really talking about. It, it def definitely benefits. They just get really excited about it. I mean, just, wow, look what it did. Look at that really cool graph I just made. They spin it around, oh, that's really neat. Oh, how can I do this at home? Um, anything that gets them that involved and that excited makes them really want to go and work some more has just got to be a good thing.